Okay, question number seven. We have uh, an a question where it's we're asked to identify the limiting reagent. Limiting reagent means the substance that will stop the reaction um, because it runs out before the other. So to give you an example, uh, an analogy with a pie, if you're, if you're cooking a pie and your pie had three slices of pineapple on it and one cherry in the middle and you had a supply of six pieces of pineapple and three cherries. Which would run out first? You might be inclined to say that the pineapples will last longer because there's more of them, but if you keep in mind the stoichiometry, you realize that every three pineapples uses one cherry, you'll find out that the pineapples run out first and you're left over with cherries. So the limiting reagent in this recipe is the pineapples. So you have to keep track of the stoichiometry when you're doing a limiting reagent reaction. In this case, though, the stoichiometry of this reaction is one to one. You have calcium chloride reacting with sodium carbonate to form calcium carbonate and sodium chloride. The stoichiometry between calcium chloride and sodium carbonate is one to one. So 65 grams of one divided by its molar mass gives you the number of moles of calcium chloride. 74 grams of sodium carbonate divided by the molar mass of sodium carbonate gives you that many moles of sodium carbonate. You see that 0.7 versus 0.58 means the calcium chloride is going to run out first. So the limiting reagent is calcium chloride. And the stoichiometric ratio of the two reactants is one to one. So the chemical that is in short supply will stop the reaction. In this case, it is calcium chloride. If it should happen that the stoichiometric ratio was one to two, then this would be the chemical in short supply, even though there are more moles of it, because for every one mole of this, you'd use twice, uh, twice the moles of that. In that case, sodium carbonate would be the chemical in short supply. But because the stoichiometry is one to one, this one runs out first.